A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, September 11, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. According to climatology, yesterday, September 10, is the most active day of the hurricane season, and for the first time in decades, on that day we did not have any areas marked for potential cyclonic development nor any active tropical cyclones in the Atlantic Basin. And in the previous video I talked to you about the factors that have caused the last few weeks to be extremely inactive in the Atlantic. But I also mentioned that over the coming weeks, particularly toward the end of September and the beginning of October, conditions are expected to become quite favorable for the Atlantic to reactivate, and it is possible that we will see the development of several cyclones in the coming weeks. So once again, it is important that we all stay alert, as is normal during the peak of the season. In fact, Yesterday the National Hurricane Center began to closely observe a strong tropical wave that will be emerging from Africa, which has a low probability of cyclonic development as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. But before giving details about the forecast for this next tropical wave, I wanted you to see the potential wind speed at high levels of the atmosphere. In other words, when we have yellow and reddish colors in the Atlantic region, conditions are usually not favorable for cyclonic development. However, Notice in green and blue a pulse of moisture related to a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation that will be moving through the Caribbean and the tropical Atlantic during the second half of September, and will eventually become stationary over the African continent and the Indian Ocean, generating conditions that are typically favorable for cyclonic development in the Atlantic, particularly from September 21st through October 11th. And just as I mentioned in the previous video, it is possible that the peak of cyclonic activity this year will occur over the next four to six weeks. And these anticipated changes can already be seen in model projections. For example, take a look at this image showing the wind shear at the moment, particularly in the central and tropical Atlantic. Represented in red, we currently have above normal wind shear. However, look at the changes expected in the coming weeks, where by the end of September the main development region on average will have wind shear well below normal. This is surely related to this favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation that will move through the region over the next few weeks. In addition, in the next image, See the sea surface temperature anomalies, particularly in the main development region and the Gulf of Mexico, which are well above normal, and this can also aid in the formation of new tropical cyclones. On average, sea surface temperatures are currently ranked number 3 or 4 among the hottest recorded since 1991. So this is why throughout the Caribbean, the United States, Central America, and Mexico, we must continue to stay alert to the tropics, despite the very calm conditions of recent weeks. Also, in this image I wanted to show you that Saharan dust has remained below normal basically throughout the hurricane season, another factor that can be favorable for the formation of tropical cyclones. Now then, let's talk about the first tropical wave that will have chances of development over the coming days, and the National Hurricane Center has marked the tropical Atlantic with up to a 30% chance of cyclonic development over the next 7 days. So we are talking about a fairly long-term forecast and we will have many days to monitor it calmly. And although for the moment it is too early to know exactly how close or far it could pass from the Caribbean region, I can tell you that the pattern seems to favor a west-northwest movement, and with some luck it should pass to the northeast of the Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. But once again, remember that this is a long-term forecast and much can change in the coming days, as was clearly shown with Invest 91, where we saw significant changes in the projections of the global models and the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Now let's look at the runs from the American Model Ensemble members. Notice that most of them develop a tropical storm or hurricane in about 7 to 9 days in the tropical Atlantic, and all members show that west-northwest track, passing far from the Caribbean. Also notice that some members show the possible development of a tropical cyclone in the Western Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. However, since this is the American Model projection, we must consider that this model typically develops cyclones in this area that never end up forming. In fact, for now, it is the only model showing this potential for cyclonic development. On the other hand, we have the European Ensemble projection. All members agree that a tropical storm or hurricane could develop next week, but following a west-northwest track, passing far from the Caribbean. And the same trend appears in the Artificial Intelligence Ensemble model, which develops a tropical storm in about 5 to 7 days, but also gains latitude quite quickly, which for now reduces the risk of impact for the Caribbean. Also notice that models are beginning to show the possible development of a second tropical wave next week. These are already signs that the tropical Atlantic is very likely to become active over the next few weeks. Now let's look at the runs of the global models. Let's begin with the American model. During the morning hours of next Tuesday, it develops a tropical depression near longitude 40W, but in the longer term, in about 5 to 8 days, it maintains that track while gaining latitude and eventually poses no threat to the Caribbean region. On the other hand, 
We also have the European model projection. It shows the strong tropical wave moving across the tropical Atlantic, and it's not until Thursday morning next week that it develops a tropical depression, but still very far from the Caribbean region. Meanwhile, the German model also develops a tropical depression or tropical storm in about five to seven days, and by the middle of next week begins to gain latitude as it moves away from the Caribbean. But very interestingly, also notice that the German model shows a strong tropical wave crossing over the Northeast Caribbean. And although no model is currently showing cyclonic development, we will be watching for any changes in projections, and we have another tropical wave that will emerge from Africa by the middle of next week. The UK model aligns very well with these projections. It shows a tropical storm developing in the tropical Atlantic between Monday and Tuesday of next week and also shows two strong tropical waves in the area between the Caribbean and Africa. The European AI model also shows the development of a tropical depression in about six to seven days between the Caribbean and Africa, and two strong tropical waves that we will be monitoring in case they achieve some cyclonic organization. So, as you can see, after several days and weeks of no cyclonic activity in the Atlantic, Everything seems to indicate that several tropical waves will have cyclonic development potential, and here it, I will be keeping you informed. The important thing is that for now, there is no threat to the Caribbean, the United States, Eastern Mexico, or Central America, so we will remain watchful, but calm. I want to invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. I hope you all have an excellent day. See you later.